Guess who's back? Guess who's back at Blaze Blue? All right. <laughs> I, I did say I was gonna do Bang next, but I want to do Taker because it's the longest one, and I want to see if I can get this immediately done. This is Taker. Are you close to Kagutsuchi yet? Yes. I'd say perhaps two clicks from Kagutsuchi's main defensive fortifications. Right. It looks like reality is a little unstable in your area. How are you holding up? What? Don't tell me you're actually worried about me. Cut the chatter, smartass. I'm asking you what the situation is. It's fine. Do you think this instability means the library's up to something again? <laughs> if I didn't think they were, why do you think I'd be sending you back in there? Of course. <laughs> well, I've got a pretty good idea of what they're after. It's not going to affect your mission, so don't you worry your little head about it. You want me to secure Noel Vermillion, right? Not again. Yep, that's right. Although, secure is such a wishy-washy sort of word. To be honest, I don't really care what you do with her, so long as she gets back here. Why the sudden urgency? I doubt you'll find this very interesting, but... Oh, what the hell. It's not like you've got anything better to do right now. The bigwigs who run Sector 7 are fighting over what they're gonna do with Noel Vermillion and Ragna the Blood Edge. Fighting? You mean this wasn't an order from the top? Oh, uh, the Sector tries to put on a united face, sure. But they're a fractious nest of vipers, just like any other club that big and that exclusive. How often do you see other Sector bigwigs coming in and out of Kagutsuchi anyway? They're pretty serious about this, then. Bet your ass they are. They're particularly interested in what they're gonna do with the eye. It's... complicated. Complicated? I know you've been through some phenomena interventions, so you've got at least a tenuous grip of the basics, but... dealing with the eye is... Shit, I don't know how to put it. It's a pain. And that is why I need you to get Noel Vermillion before one of those other sector creepos gets his sweaty mitts on her. Roger that. I'll do what I can. Good to hear. No need to rush, though. Even if they find her, it's not like those jerkwads are gonna know what to do with her. Is that so? Those idiots can't even begin to grasp how much the eye's worth. No. They're too busy talking about how powerful the Azure Grimoire is, and... Ugh! Man, I can't stand them! Well, without the Azure Grimoire, how could Ragnar the Blood Edge have been able to stand up to the library the way he did? Oh, for God's sake! Please don't tell me you buy into the idea that that piece of crap is worth anything! Kokonoe, I've been meaning to ask for a while now, but... Why do you keep calling it a... If you'll pardon my language, a piece of crap. I'm just some checking to get what is exactly she, what is she exactly calling a piece of crap? The grimoire? Huh? Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, it's um. Well, look, it's like this: the Azure Grimoire has a pretty serious Achilles heel. I'm talking huge. Achilles heel? You know what I mean. This thing is serious business. I mean, come on. It doesn't matter how strong something, anything is, if you know exactly how to counter it, right? True. Even the deadliest virus would mean nothing if one had the proper vaccine. All right, enough chit-chat. Don't forget your mission. Get me Noel Vermillion. And don't worry your pretty little head about the Azure Grimoire. In fact... Tager, we're almost there. You'd better get ready to drop. Roger. Sorry, Kokonoi, but I couldn't quite make out the last part of what you said. Oh yeah, that. Don't worry about it. Just focus on capturing Noel Vermillion, all right? If In worse fact, worse, what? You might need to get rid of Ragna the Blood Edge. I'm all done with him anyway. Roger. And what do you want me to do about, uh, Lychee? Ah, oh, shit. Look, I don't really care, okay? Just use your judgment, all right? It's up to you. We done with this interrogation? I've got a new project ramping up, and time's not exactly in abundance over here. One more thing. What happened to Hakumen? Oh. <laughs> I locked him up way down in the lower level. He's just a huge pain in the ass if I let him run around. Anyway, I got so much shit keeping him put down there, I don't even think God himself could break that little punk out. Uh, well... How unfortunate for him. We're here. Prepare to drop. Oh, yeah. There was one more thing. Damn it. The 
signal's breaking up. This thing never works when you... Ugh. Whatever. It'll keep. Just focus on your mi... Roger. TR-0009 Tager. Commencing mission. That was quite a landing. All right. Let's see here. Seems I've managed to slip past their defenses. <laughs> Still about one and a half clicks from Kagutsuchi, though. This is probably as good a spot as any. Now, why don't you show yourself? You didn't register oh? my scans. Are you using a camouflaging ours? Are you from Sector 7? A library, perhaps? Wrong on both counts, Meow. And don't worry, I'm not an enemy. It looks like you truly deserve your reputation. Red Devil of Sector 7. You know me? Are you... from the Kaka Clan? Bingo. Although I can't say the same for this one. Is that a human? Oh, hi! Oh, by the way, my name's Tora Kaka. I'm a warrior of the Kaka village, and this girl is... Meow. Well, her name is Platinum. I've been asked by... someone to take her to Kagutsuchi. I was in the middle of doing so when I saw you plummeting to Earth. I was curious, so I came to see what happened. And that someone would be? I cannot tell you right now. I'd never betray their trust. But I can tell you that this someone isn't your enemy. And you expect me to just take your word for it? Yes? Well, whether you believe what I tell you or not is entirely up to you. Anyway, I was planning a more roundabout way. Especially since Seether isn't as prevalent here. But you'd be much more likely to get attacked by beasts, right? Heh. <laughs> I've felt them out there for quite a while now. But since they haven't attacked yet, I was going to go out on a limb and assume that they are afraid of you. With Platinum on my hands, I really can't take too many risks. So I thought that I'd just trail along behind you. Ha. Huh. So I'm your own mobile sanctuary, am I? Now that I've explained our situation, would you be so kind as to lower your fists? Are you sure you're one of the Kaka clan? <laughs> yeah. What is that supposed to mean exactly? You just seem a little, uh, clever for a member of the Kaka clan. I mean... I'm sorry. That came out much ruder than I intended. I apologize if I've offended you. Don't sweat it. Well, I understand your situation. If you know who I am, then I probably don't need to say this, but I hope you don't expect me to tell you what I'm doing here. Truth be told, I don't really care. I was just trying to keep the both of us safe. Nothing else really matters. I see. So you understand. I'm glad you and I are both on the same page. If I were Tao, I'd say you were a good guy, Mia. Yeah! I try to stay humble, but yes. At any rate... If that's the case, what would you say to traveling to Kagatsuchi together? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> right then. Shall we? Good Kokomori, guy, meow. Can you hear me? Yeah. I guess there's less interference, wherever you are. I've just arrived at Kagutsuchi. Excellent. No problems along the way, I hope? I encountered a warrior from the Kaka clan nearby the drop-off point, and we happen to be heading in the same direction. We've just parted ways, but other than that, I've had no problems. The Kaka clan? Uh, whatever. If there's nothing else, then I will begin my search for Noel Vermilion. Yeah, okay, for now, just use the scanners to find some of the Azure's residual energy. I'm pretty sure Noel's gonna be emitting energy on about the same wavelength. Roger. Oh, and, uh, one thing about the scanner. There's more? It, uh, doesn't have any way to differentiate between Noel's energy and... Oh, Rock's. no. <laughs> so, you might run...
run into a little trouble. Just a heads up. That's bad. <laughs> That's really yeah. bad. Well, I guess I'll start poking around the NOL building and see if I can pick anything up. That's horrendous, Coco. Fine. Co Good. Yes. Whatever. That's horrendous, Coco. Come mind on. That area is under the. Mm. What is it? Oh Damn no. It. Hang on a second. Kokonoe. Hey, Kokonoe. No, it doesn't matter, you idiot. Shut down number 18 through 32. Shut them all down. Yes, of course I mean completely. Don't worry about the others. Wouldn't work on him anyway. God damn it, people. The guards? Are you out of your microscopic mind? You might as well just stuff them into a meat grinder and save yourself the trouble. I'm sorry, do you not grasp that this son of a bitch could just blow us off sky high if he so much as sneezes? <laughs> yeah, I know. Just throw the idiot outside. Yes, I mean right now. Oh, so that's how he got outside. God damn it. Look, there's been a few complications. That's how he got outside. I think I can guess. Hakuman's escaped. I thought so. <laughs> well, he's probably headed to Kagutsuchi. I don't know where else he'd go. Probably gonna be looking for the Azure too. Look, I don't care <laughs> what you have to do, just find him and kill him. I need him gone. You won't be able to intervene? I don't think so. I'm about 90% sure I can smell Rachel's blood soaked hand in this one. <laughs> this is Tager. I've just arrived in Orient Town. Tager! Huh? What is it? It's, uh, Lychee. Are you talking to the professor? Please, I need to speak with her. Could you pass me along to her? I'm on duty right now. And I think Kokonoe is too busy to talk to you just now anyway. On duty? No, it's all right. I understand. But perhaps you could allow me to speak with her later? I've got a pretty good idea of what you're going to ask her, you know. Let me just make one thing clear to you, Lychee. He, well, I suppose he goes by Arachne now. At any rate, it's too late for him. You're a scientist too. You have to understand. He's already gone past level D. You know what that means. You've seen what happens to anyone who goes that far. I know that. And that's exactly why I want to save him. Lychee. He may still have a form, but that is nothing short of a miracle. Usually, anyone at this stage would already have- Don't say it! I don't know what went through his mind, what he was after, or what he hoped to gain. But this is a path he chose for himself. He's let the Azure change him irrevocably. He chose the Azure over you, and it's time- <laughs> uh, Don't say it like that! Or are you suggesting Arachne is somehow different from all the other fools who've gone down the same path? That doesn't seem very likely, does it? Every single person who's fallen apart like him made a choice. Many of them are still suffering for it even now. <sighs> I've put all too many suffering souls out of their misery. And I can tell you with certainty, it is too late for him. I doubt even Kokonoe has the means to save him now. Even so... I must... What? Fulfill some sort of responsibility? No! It's not your responsibility! It's his and mine! Professor! Kokonoe! Looks like you've spoiled her, Tager. She's just lame excuse for a disciple a lesson or five. I'd like to tell you to take care of your own problems, but... I suppose this is what I get for being a soldier. Please, don't hate me for what I'm about to do. Fair enough, I understand. But Professor, if I win, you have to at least listen to what I have to say. Let's go. Yeah, that was the most harsh thing I've heard Tager say. Jesus Christ. I didn't like that in the slightest. Yikes. The will of fate is starting. Let's go, Miss Lychee. Rebel one. I don't know. I don't know. I won't. I, but... I dare you. Can I do this? Can I do this in this game now? The scene to. Yes, yes, I can. Okay, good. Yes, I can. This is the one combo I knew. Do I have. I don't think I do. Power of science! Power of science! Yeah! Eat this! Return! 
Yep. Forgive me, Lychee. Is anyone here? Yes. How did you get through that door? Doctor! You... What did you do to her? I don't want to deal with this kid's crap. Just tell her you found Lychee passed out somewhere. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I found her unconscious in Orient Town. I reasoned that she's overworked herself and simply collapsed, so I decided to bring her back to a clinic. But I see this is where she lives. How convenient. Wow, that was a pretty impressive lie. Maybe you're not such a stick in the mud. Thank you. <laughs> uh, is that so? Um, well, thank you very much. If you don't mind, could you lay her down on that bed over there? Of course. Uh, thank you. And I'm sorry for shouting at you earlier. Aww. Don't worry. I know how it must have looked. <laughs> don't say that. Well, how about I make it up to you? <gasps> I know. I'll make us some tea. Is like, uh, is she going to be all right? Well, she looks a little pale, but that's about it. Her breathing is normal, and yeah, I think she'll be okay. Hold tight. The tea won't take but a minute. You can tell that just by looking at her? Yeah, of course. I see her every day. And I am her student, after all. Thank you. Hmm. Is this oolong tea? Oh, I'm sorry. I should have asked first. You don't like oolong tea? N no, I didn't mean... It's just that the doctor likes oolong tea so much that I grabbed it without even thinking. <laughs> She's really open and honest about herself. I've taken... Yeah, that's very true. You're quite fond of her, aren't you? Yeah, I guess so. When I first started working here, I was afraid of everyone, and I pretty much kept to myself since I was kind of alone. The doctor saw through all of that and was very kind and patient with me. I started to open up to her. She was just such a wonderful person, and it made me want to become just like her. I guess it'd be more reverent than fond. I see. Wait, why am I telling you all of this? <laughs> You're really a very strange person. And the expression on your face when you were listening to me babble on, it made me feel... understood. Sorry about that. Aww. Let me get her some medicine. Oh, come on. She cares about you a great deal. Yes. Lychee, I think you've already figured out what it means to be happy. You're just afraid to admit it. I'll be leaving now. I don't wish to overstay my welcome. Please give her my regards. Well then. Right. Aw, come on. You two have a good cry. Feeling better now? Yes. I apologize for wasting your time. I'll resume my mission immediately. Oh, that. Don't sweat it. I, uh, actually just got a request to take care of some business. Business? Yeah. Another department asked for a little help, and, uh... Well, you see, my own little pet project doesn't quite have enough parts. And in return for the parts they can supply, you agreed to do their dirty work. Yeah, so? Anyway, their agent should be over there already. The code name's NEW. Roger. Go to the designated location and receive the data, is all they told me, but... But if they need more help... I want you to do it, okay? Got it. Whatever it is you're trying to get from these people must be awfully important. I never knew you to have such a... generous side. Giving this mission maximum priority hardly does it justice. It's a box of cha... uh, from... Roche... Uh, parts. What? What? <laughs> I think the connection is breaking up. Could you repeat that? Oh, look! This is just some premium grade stuff, all right? Okay? You got it or not? What's your mission, lunkhead? 
Proceed to the designated location, make contact with the agent codenamed NEW, and acquire data. Once my task is complete, you will receive a box of high-quality parts, correct? Perfect. Roger. Now en route to meeting with Agent New. I've arrived at the designated location, but... Huh? You, you're from the library. What's an officer of the NOL doing here? Oh, well, hello. Whoa. I thought this thing was huge, but you make it <coughs> seem merely large. Um, actually, I was looking for something. Yeah, that's it. Looking for something? Yeah, that's it. I I'm looking for something. A legendary animal called a new. The new was a creature that roamed the surface of the world long ago, but now they only exist in museums and encyclopedias. Did you just say new? Yeah. Isn't it nice to learn something new? Anyway, it's a shame that they're all extinct. I bet if you made sausage from them, it'd become a new culinary trend. Is that so? Yes, that's so. Can I save here? No. Are you new? Perhaps. I admit, I didn't expect an NOL uniform. And if you'll pardon my rudeness, it was all too easy for me to sneak up on you. You really ought to put more effort into observing your surroundings. You know, it's actually less suspicious when a person just acts normally when out in public. Were you not doing the same? At any rate, here's the data. All right. So that's it, right? I can go now? Now, I'm only asking this out of personal curiosity. So if you feel uncomfortable answering, please don't. You are a member of the NOL. And given that you are wearing the uniform of an officer, you must be a relatively important one. What I'm trying to say is, your future must be fairly stable, right? I'd like to think so. <laughs> Not exactly the answer I was looking for. Tell me, why do this? Don't you think that everything is great the way it is now? I mean, with Ars Magus, you can do just about anything you set your mind to. If we really wanted to, we could probably resurrect this creature right here. Hmm. Regardless of whether that life wanted it or not. Doesn't that strike you as odd? In a manner of speaking. Oh. Say, I want to ask you something, too. So long as it does not interfere with my mission, I will do my best to answer. You're looking for Noel. Noel Vermillion, right? I cannot answer that question. Oh well, it was worth a try, I suppose. But I strongly suggest you keep what I'm about to say in mind. If anyone harms Noel in any way, I will make that person pay, regardless of who they might be. I will keep that in mind. <laughs> well, I think that's enough chit-chat for one day. See you again sometime, Mr. Red Devil. Kokonoi, this particular mission is complete. Good. Now get back to your... Wait. Is this the Azure? What? Okay. So, I have to go now, but I, I won't stop the video. Uh, instead, I'll just pause it. I am going to finish the chapter, but I have to pause it for a bit. It's going to be probably like a few hours from now. <laughs> it's going to be probably like a few hours from now when, when I'll unpause this video. But it's going to be exactly here. I'm going to just do I'm gonna just do this. It's just going to stay here. I'm not going to touch anything. It's just going to stay here. But uh, again, I'll pause it here and I'll be back in a few hours. You won't notice anything because it's going to be like two seconds.
I believe nothing has changed, and you may not notice anything, but I got a haircut. That is all I did. I'm just gonna keep it going. I'm only 200 meters away. Kokonoi, I'm heading over to confirm. Chager, report! It seems a silver-haired man with a large sword caused some sort of commotion. Unfortunately, he'd fled the scene by the time I arrived, and no one seems to know where he might have gone. Uh, Ragna the Blood Edge. It does sound like him. I'm detecting some residual Azure energy. Everything points to one conclusion. What would you like me to do? Shall I attempt to locate him? Hmm. Yes. Make a great preliminary opponent. Tager, I want to test something out. Go back to the museum. I'm back. What exactly did you want me to do? Huh? Spatial transfer. Oh, uh, hello. Complete. Awaiting further orders. The Murakumo unit? What the hell is it doing here? I just teleported it over there. There's something I want to test. What the hell? Wait, is this Subject 11? You wouldn't. Hey, good guess there, genius. Right on the money. Took me a little more time than I thought to restore her. Well, I use restore loosely. Only about 90% of her is actually functioning. This is just to test the idea engine. Idea engine? What's that? Oh! <laughs> oh no! So, you're curious, are you? I like that! Hmm, let's see. Where to start? Uh, actually, Kokonoi, I think it might be best if you explained it to me when I return. What exactly is it that you need me to do for this test? Hmm. Oh, right. Well, I've got to tell you this bit, at least. The idea engine is basically an upgraded version of what you've got. Although they're still pretty much the same when you get down to it. Anyway, I want to know what exactly is going to happen to this engine when I throw it up against something else like it. I hope you're ready, Tager. Order confirmed. Whoops. Man. All right. Roger. Retaliating. A test of strength! Well, not testing Tager, more like the engine that got powers Lambda. The will of fate is turning! Lambda 11. Rebel 1. Action! Oh, that's the music. Predictable. Oi! Approach me, bitch! No. Said approach me, bitch! I dare you! I dare you! Atomic Collider! Whoa, that, that, a lot, that did a lot of damage! Holy! Yes! No, wait, it's the, the other version. This one. Yeah, there you go. Finish! Functions terminated. System recovery engaged. Switching to standby mode. How was that? Huh? Hmm. I guess she still needs a few adjustments. Or maybe you're just... No. No, that's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> well, how does the data look? Hmm. This is interesting. Very interesting. Looks like her engine's much more stable around you. Really? I'm sorry! Well, <laughs> if you both operate on the same principle, then perhaps the quantum entanglement is somehow resonating between... Hmm... <laughs> like a pair of Schrodinger's cats. Then again, this may be as far as I can push this with simple machinery. Schrodinger's cats? Huh? Oh, that's nothing. Don't worry about it. Anyway, come on back, Lambda. I need to make some adjustments to you. Affirmative. Commencing transfer sequence. All right. I'm going to get back to my mission then. Yes, yes, good. Hmm. There's something wrong with the particle accelerator? Again? 
Wait, you say it's causing reciprocal interference? Hmm. Well, have you thought it might be the demon's gene? Oh, no. That's impossible, too. But, if this is the basis for the lifelink theory, then... I see. Yes. Everything he said is beginning to make sense. I'll never understand how Coco Noe thinks. I'm resuming my search for Noel Vermillion. You don't want to peek? Leave the call open. Damn it. I still can't find him? I didn't think I'd need to start worrying about my energy reserves on this mission. Finally, a response. And it's close. Oh! Who are you? The library. Who are you? Wait, that uniform. You're from the Zero Squadron. What does that matter to you? Unless I'm mistaken, you are Sector 7's Red Devil. I prefer to avoid shedding unnecessary blood if I can. How we resolve this situation is entirely up to you. I see. That's... What? What's wrong, Kokonoi? Why the hell is that thing here? Hey, you! Did Terra... Did Hazuma tell you to come here? Did he? Hey, Kokonoi, what's gotten into you? An intervention ours that can tap directly into one's nervous system. Answer me! You bastard! Kokonoi, is there something I should know? I'll admit her weapon does look a little strange, but I find it hard to believe it's that dangerous. That's an arm of it. The Iza Yoi. Iza Yoi? God damn it, Teremi! Iza Yoi is a sealed weapon! It was created before the Dark War for one reason, and one reason only. Look, Tager, I don't have time to explain everything, but that thing, it can steal light. Steal light? Is it dangerous? Dangerous? Well, hmm. The Iza Yoi can enhance the wielder's ability quite a bit, using light as a catalyst. I see. Then I shouldn't rely on the readings of my scanners, then. No, you're not getting it! In combat, you're way superior to this kid! Enhancing somebody's strength is just a side effect. The true strength of the Iza Yoi is that it can interrupt light. Interrupt light? It's a prototype of the Murokumo unit. It can nullify the strength of the eye. Izayoi, the sealed weapon, was created specifically to counter the Observer. Counter the Observer? Are you finished talking yet? Look, I don't have time to give you all the nitty-gritty. I'm adding this to your mission. Eliminate Izayoi and its wielder. Roger. Soldier of the Library, I'm sorry, but it seems the situation has changed. Well... Since you said you didn't care for shedding unnecessary blood, then I assume my blood is no longer unnecessary. Ah, oh, don't say that. You've saved me the trouble of an explanation. Thank you. Then we have no more need for words. On guard! You're fast! Ugh. Commencing mission. Now eliminating Iza Yoi and its wielder. I'm gonna hate this matchup, aren't I? The will fate is starting. Rebel one. I'm gonna hate this matchup, Action. aren't I? Shut up. Oh shit! In the sledge. Not this time. Wait. Come here, bitch. Power of science. Ready? You're wide open. Shark ball. In this. I dare you. In this. Power of sight! Power of sight! Oh, oh, Where am I going? Get command grab! Fuck! Get command grab! Fong! And yes, I can magnetic, magnetic finger that, okay. How can I lose... like this? 
Jin. I'm sorry, soldier of the library. Good work. Now bring her in. Roger. I'm sorry. Oh shit! What? What the hell? Oh my my my! Very impressive. Toys these days. Kids are liable to hurt themselves on things like that. Who the hell are you? Hazama of the Novus Orbis Librarian Intelligence Department, at your service. Tell me, what the hell is he doing here? You're Hazama? Shit! I can't mobilize Lambda yet! Tager! Don't listen to a word of what this snake tells you! Not a word! Oh, I guess I have met you before. I guess I should be saying something more like, Long time no see, then, right? Long time no see? I've never met you. Oh, you don't remember? Here, let me jog your memory a bit. Oh, what is this? What? What's going on? That's right. What did I see? A green shadow. No, that's not... Something much more important. Not the time. The place. What did I see at Ikaruga? What? Brainwave! Tager! Get a grip! Tager! Don't lose it, Tager! You're my subordinate, remember? You're an irreplaceable comrade! You can't lose yourself again! Then... The Nox Nictores! They need... That's what this is all about! You bastards! There are some things no human being has a right to do! You have to stop! This isn't a war! How can you just use human lives like that? Tager! Oh, shut your pie hole, cat! And don't interrupt me again! We're just getting to the good part! What the fuck is going on? <laughs> What's the matter, Red Devil? Your mommy's calling your name. Kokonoi! What's happening to me? Look out! <laughs> so a few screws go loose and you fight back with programs? <laughs> what an amazing toy you got there! What the fuck is going on? Tager, don't think about anything right now. Just fight! Uh, Roger. What is going on? What did he? Why? What? What in the holy fuck? The will fate is turning. All right. Rebel one. Sure, I guess. Counter. Not even. Fatal. Not fatal. Oh my god, he goes flying. That's it. Counter. Get back here. Atomic coming. I dare you. Counter. Get back here. Power of silence. Sure. Get back here. Whoa. Counter. 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 Nothing. I dare you! Power of silence! You're it! I dare you! I'm coming to lighter! How's that? That worked? Why? I dare you! I dare you! Get back here! Power of silence! I dare you! I'm coming to lighter! Goodbye. Tager damage. Tager, run for it! You can't beat him! I understand. Retreating! <laughs> really think you can outrun me, you lumbering bucket of bolts? Uh, it's, uh, this. Wait! Oh, come on! Oh, shit! My secondary systems, why aren't they working? Oh, that's not gonna work, you cheeky little devil, you. You've really got no idea what's going on here, do you? Kokonoi! Hey! Kokonoi! Oh, don't even bother. You're in Izayoi's web now. What? No amount of squirming and bitching is gonna get you out of this one. Oh 
my goodness. This is just pathetic. The great red devil can't even lift a finger? <laughs> Delightful. Now, how am I going to take my revenge on that goddamn cat? Hazama. Oh. Huh? Well, well, well. Now this is an unexpected pleasure. Whatever brings you here? Hmm. I see. What an interesting toy you've got there. An artificial causality phenomena weapon. That cat does know how to make some cool toys. I'll give artificial you Artificial causality phenomena what what? Take was made to fight the cas causality phenomenon? Artificial causality phenomenon weapon. Hazama, is that the effect of the Izayo? Oh wait, or, or is he talking about the Izayo? I don't know. Uh, well, no, I think it's yeah. the Izayo. I'd say it's got a good oh, 30 minutes or so left. That's more than enough. Hazama, unbind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was talking about and I I'd think only just the Izayo. I think. Gosh, you're not fun at all. Whatever. Suit yourself. Hazama, please go to the altar. I wish to take care of this in my own special way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> now you owe me one. Ah! Well then, Mr. Red Devil, sir, I bid you farewell. I do hope we'll meet again if you're, you know, still alive. Best of luck. Please rise, you poorly constructed piece of battle yeah, machinery. Yeah, let's talk about the easier. I'll okay. I'll give you some time to recover. You! Uh, what the hell are you doing? Ah, oh, Kokonoe's sad, pathetic little doll. I can't wait to try this out on you. Shit. I still can't get through to him. Is the easy way doing this? Something else. Tager! Are your repair systems functioning? Tager! Respond! Tager! What? Tager! What's going on? Report! What's your situation? What the hell's going on? I can't see anything! Go. Go, Kanoi. This isn't. isn't good. Tager! Damn it! Someone tell me what the hell is going on here! Kokonoe, it's been far too long. What? R Relius Clover? Why the hell are you still alive? Why? What a strange question to ask. You sound as if you've killed me yourself. What? How can you still be alive, Relius Clover? What? I was able to perform a great many tests on your magnificent little doll. Such a powerful robot, equipped with a phenomena causality weapon. Obviously the fruit of great labors. But alas, in the end it is merely a machine. But compared to that, this amusing little toy of yours falls short. Why don't you instead consider using Ars Magus? Just shut up! Get out of here! But seriously, why aren't you using magic? You know, Coconut. Oh, wait, what? Just like you did back then? What? I told you to shut up, you son of a bitch! Well, no matter. I have my way of doing things, and you Is have that yours. why she's a tech geek? press any further. Oh, my... Tigger! Can you stand up? Tigger! Uh, I think... I think I can do this. Is that why she's a tech geek despite me being the daughter of all my- A magnificent toy, indeed. Once again, Kokonoe, you are to be commended. That is why this will have real meaning. No, take her! You can't! You have to run! What the- f <laughs> What the- What is going on anyway? The place where truth and lies become one. I made the vessel, 
You provided the spark of life. Oh, no. No. That's... That's not possible. Fluctus Redactum Ignis has been completed. What the fuck? What is even go- Help me, Professor Kokonoe! Oh, this one's gonna be good. Greetings, lost children. I am Professor Kokonoe, genius scientist and ruler of the Sector 7 Laboratory. Well, okay, we aren't in the lab at the moment. This place can sort of be temporarily moved into the boundary. Well, simply put, it's a mysterious room. A room where you can do anything you want. To be honest, it's a paradise for all those sad little lost children who couldn't make it to the true ending. A sort of Avalon. If you're one of those nut bars who's all, I don't need help, or I only want to unlock hidden stuff, or I'll just look for a flowchart online, then you can piss off! Oh. Welcome back to our programs for unfortunate individuals who only get the normal ending. It's time for Help Me, Professor Kokonoe. I love this fucking thing. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Why are we starting this episode like this? I thought we'd spice things up a little. Our viewers would get bored with the same thing over and over. Besides, you didn't seem to have a problem with it. Only because I didn't realize what was going on. How long are you planning on talking like a reporter? <laughs> well, I thought people were probably sick of how we talk to each other in the main story, so I'll just be nice and perky like this for your episode. <laughs> oh no. Oh, are you trying to change your image? It doesn't suit you. According to my data, your personality is completely incompatible with this new character you're trying to be. Then, Yikes. I shall delete that data at a later date. Yikes! <laughs> and now, Mr. Tager, about your death. The life was beaten completely out of you. Oh. Well, you certainly don't waste any time, do you? I felt sorry watching you. I just couldn't do anything. The Izayoi. How the hell did you know that, Tager? Huh? The what? Uh, I was there. I saw it. I see you're back to normal. Good. <laughs> you're right. It was all Izayoi's fault. If it hadn't gotten in the way, I could have given you such magnificent orders. What? Right. The radio wasn't working, was it? They say that Izayoi steals light. What that means scientifically is that it draws in a specific wavelength or spectrum of wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation. Well, not just draws it in, it inhales them like a black hole. Not even light can outrun it. But it inhales any sort of. Oh! I see. I guess it was affecting the radio signal of our communicator. Are you sure you want to give out important information like that here, Kokonoi? Sometimes we have to give out important information, or people won't take us seriously. No, it's the fact that you're saying it like a mini gag thing. Well, getting back to the issues at hand, what should I have done differently? Hmm. Well, I think you made a bad choice a while back. Really? Yeah, I was, uh, busy at the time, so I didn't pick up on it. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> so, where did I go wrong? Well, you're just going to have to figure that out for yourself. All I can do is give you advice. I've heard you give some pretty specific answers. Yeah, well, maybe. But if you just think about your choices, I think it'll be pretty obvious. Don't sweat it. Th there's the answer. If you think about your choices... Well, if that's all, then it's time I got back to my mission. I'll be leaving now. Well, if you start over, then your memory resets too, you know. True, but I'm sure someone will remember all of this. I don't think I've ever seen you be so nonchalant before, Tager. Then again, I guess what I said was pretty vague, too. Perhaps. At any rate, I'll see you in the next world, Kokonoe. Okay. Whee! <sighs> and that ends our report for today. Now I'm afraid I'm off to scold someone, so I'll see you all next time. What? Goodbye. Okay, this wasn't, you know, chaotic.
in, in, in fact, it gave me useful information of how the Izayoi worked. So, <laughs> I would say that was pretty good. <laughs> I would say that was good. Okay. Wow, okay. Good. Oh, I unlocked the level. Okay, good. Now, oh, the second. Oh, I have the second seven now. Yee. Okay. Alright, so that was 50 minutes. Right, right, right. That is all for the well, for this video. I'll keep going with the chapters in, in a moment. Next, uh, I think it's gag. Now, take a Doth of a gag scenario, which last time in Calamity Trigger with it met was Mecha Tager, the big Super Saiyan Tager, and I don't know what to expect. So, yeah, goodbye.